Hello and welcome to the installation tutorial for Panasonic's EcoVent series exhaust fans. Panasonic's EcoVent provides affordable, Energy Star qualified ventilation in an attractive, smaller bodied fan and features a boost mode to help ensure your fan passes ventilation verification as required by the Energy Star 3.0 HVAC system quality rater checklist. In order to pass verification, intermittent bath fans performance must be equal to or greater than 50 CFM. Static pressure caused by long duct runs, elbows, and terminations can reduce a fan's ability to move air. Panasonic's EcoVent is a 70 CFM fan that can boost to 90 CFM should there be excessive static pressure. That extra boost could mean all the difference between passing and failing Energy Star 3.0 verification. EcoVent is sold in contractor packs only. Part number FV07VBA1 consists for each of the fan housing, duct collar, junction box, spacer sets, and mounting screw sets. Part number FV07VBB1 contains for each of the motor blower assembly and finish grill. To assemble the fan housing, First, position the duct collar in through the fan housing and snap into place. Next, position the junction box through the housing as shown. Secure the junction box to the fan housing using the screw provided. Once the junction box is secured, the duct collar is locked into place. Next, mount the fan housing to the joist. You'll notice that there are indents near the top of the housing. These are provided to accommodate the spacers provided with the fan. As the fan's housing is tapered, these spacers ensure a level installation when attached to the joist. Position the fan against the joist, use the screws provided to secure the housing to the joist through the spacers. Then, secure the fan to the joist at the flange. Make your electrical connections and attach the duct. To finish installation, slide the motor and blower assembly into the fan housing. The motor assembly snaps securely into the fan housing. You will hear it click into place. Attach the motor and blower assembly to the housing with the screw provided here at the duct collar and here at the motor assembly. Finally, attach your finish grill. Should your fan be tested for ventilation verification and not meet the 50 CFM required, simply pull down the grill and switch the fan from the 70 CFM position up to the 90 CFM position. Replace the grill and ask for another measurement. Barring an extremely compromised duct run, your fan should be able to deliver the 50 CFM required. 